What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And you guys already know, we are here to cover all the recent wrestling news, giving you that roundup of all the latest updates and rumors. A lot to talk about today, including a potential surprise match for WrestleMania. Roman Reigns are talking about his future in WWE, how AEW is trying to counter WWE one last time, and more. So you guys know what to do, have those notifications turned on for more, and for even more wrestling, make sure to check out the second channel. And let's start off by talking about Roman Reigns. You thought he was gonna be retiring anytime soon? No, no, no. It seems like he is literally just getting started. Roman got a massive match at WrestleMania this weekend, taking on Edge and Daniel Bryan in a triple threat match for the Universal Championship. And as we head into that event, WWE been having their superstars do a lot of interviews. So we had Roman Reigns in one of them discussing how much fun he is having as a heel right now. And specifically, specifically for how much longer he plans to wrestle in WWE. He stated the following when discussing his health and also the upcoming years of his career. And I quote, stronger than last time I posted this lift, process is the daily, monthly, and yearly go. Enjoy the process of breaking through plates to continually get better. I told Neil when we first met over a year ago that I want to grind it out for the next 15 years. I want to maximize my potential for the next 15 years and I told him this is who I am as a performer as a talent but also I am a father I'm a husband I wear all these different hats and man we have been on an unbelievable journey thus far and quote Roman Reigns emphasized that he wants to wrestle and continue being a performer for WWE for the next 15 years and when you look at it it's very possible he is only 35 years old he is only getting better and continue to evolve in regards to his heel character he stated the following it feels good there's a lot of truth to what we put into the tribal chief character the burden of the crown of being the face of the company i think everybody would like to be superman but to be able to have some of those uh, superman qualities then also display the emotions the mentality that comes into it and the way it can affect a man people connect to that people understand the struggle people understand these uh, different battles these emotional battles that might character kind of displays on a weekly basis i think it allows for a different connection and that's why it's been received so well and quote the fact that he is enjoying it and understanding what exactly works for him really just show how much he is progressing as a top wwe superstar which is awesome talking about a top wwe superstar who unlike roman reigns actually don't have a match at wrestlemania but maybe we might get one we are of course referring to bailey who had a recent interview with Alex McCarthy of Talk Sport. She talked about not being in the match car, but maybe still making her own WrestleMania moment. During the interview, Bailey stated that she doesn't have an answer as to why she doesn't have a WrestleMania match this year, but she understands that it's something that just didn't happen, and that regardless, she is gonna be here for quite a while. When asked whether something could be added late for her, which is something that she is hoping for, she stated the following. Even if there was something, I don't know if I would tell you guys to spoil it, but yeah, it's okay. I'll be here for a long time. I might just uh, jump the barricade and steal my own moment if they won't give me one. I'll just steal it. I pitch for stuff for this past WrestleMania just because uh, there has been so many occasions uh, this past year where the pitches have gone through and it becomes easier to talk to certain people. She went on to add that she would love to have a non-title match at WrestleMania such as a grudge type of match because it will mean more than just a match for a title. She knows there are two big women's title matches. She is looking on the bright side of things instead of being bummed out. She also went on to indicate that no, she hasn't been injured. So if you were wondering that something was happening in the backstage, clearly that is not the case. She is ready to go. On to some quick news. Last night, we ended up having the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony with the 2020 and 2020 
21 class. And after the show went off the air, Kenny Omega decided to give us a bit of a sarcastic joke about him not being inducted in it. He indicated the following, wait, you mean to tell me I was snubbed again this year? Jeez Louise, what a guy gotta do around here. Kenny of course is one of the best wrestlers in the world and maybe he will go into the WWE Hall of Fame someday if he ever managed to go and work for Vince McMahon once again or maybe if AEW and WWE finally start working together in the very long future from now. Sticking with AEW, they recently made a massive announcement letting us know that Mike Tyson is gonna be on AEW Dynamite. This Wednesday of course is gonna be very special because it marks the final week that AEW and NXT compete against each other. Without any warning, Tony Khan dropped this massive breaking news literally out of nowhere that Mike Tyson is returning. Well, it's no surprise that the reason for that is of course to be able to compete with NXT, which is having their takeover stand and deliver night one. AEW needed to find something big to compete tonight. They want to get as much interest as possible and they're advertising this heavily. So it should be an interesting last night of competition between both of the brand. Anyways guys, uh, that is what I got for you on this uh, wrestling news uh, roundup, covering the latest WWE news and AEW news. More wrestling coverage are uh, coming up of course, uh, so make sure to hit those notifications. I'll catch you on the next one, uh, so stay savage.